So there's a new game in town. It is called Citizenship by Investment. For $100,000, you can buy a passport that would unlock travel opportunities for you into more than 100 countries. So for a cool 100 grand, you could be waving goodbye to visa queues and embracing the joy of becoming a global citizen. I'm done with my visa application. Unfortunately, it was refused. Now, the Nigerian passport has just 27 countries that is visa free for it. And all my life, I have always optimized for freedom. The biggest obstacle in any individual's life is lack of location freedom. And I don't have location freedom. So this is going to cost me, guess what? 278,000. US dollars. So what on earth would someone spend this ridiculous amount of money for a random foreign passport? Well, the answer is this. Most world countries have weak passports. So if you're born in countries like Syria, Iraq, Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia, and many more countries considered as developing countries, the number of countries with visa-free access are usually less than 50. Gradually, as the world is becoming a global village, people need to be able to travel freely. And today, in the 21st century, it will seem, and I use the word seem with ambiguity, let me explain, because it seems today what would have been reserved for the elite few is now available for the masses. But considering buying these international passports starts from a bid of $100,000, is it truly for the masses? I doubt that. But hey, it is legit and if you want one, you have to work your ass off safe before you can afford one. And countries like St. Kitts and Nevis, Dominica, Antigua and Barbuda are opening up their doors wide for those willing to contribute financially to their economies. Now you might be wondering exactly what $100,000 gets you in the world of buying a passport, so let me break it down. Now let's start with the obvious, you will get visa-free access to a wide range of countries, making hopping from one border to the other a walk in the park. You also say goodbye to the annoying immigration lines and embrace a new way of travel across the group and if you're a person that loves business these passports could open up lucrative investment opportunities in these countries economies one thing you will realize is that citizenship by investment doesn't just provide you with easy travel it also secures a brighter future for you and your loved ones and the reason is due to the access to world-class healthcare and education systems most of us who schooled in Ghana understand the limitations that come with education in developing countries. And don't let me start about the healthcare in Africa. Look, if you have a major health complication, you won't survive in Africa. It's that simple. Now, it's exciting if you have money and you're interested in getting yourself another citizenship. But in my research, not all countries offering this opportunity may be good for you. And I'm here to give you the appropriate information that you need to look out for. Now, certain countries prohibit renouncing their citizenship. Yep meaning they won't allow you to give up the citizenship once it is granted to you. So if you feel your taxes are too much, your business is a mess and you just need to strip yourself off that obligation, well, if you took your citizenship from these countries, it wouldn't be possible to pack and leave. If you took your citizenship from Argentina where citizenship is considered a human right, you couldn't just pack and leave. Most countries will blast you with taxes before you are able to renounce their citizenship. So it is something to look out for if you should decide to purchase citizenship from another country if they will make it difficult should you decide to renounce it. Countries like Norway, Sweden and Israel, it is mandatory to serve in the military but specifically in certain age range from 18 to 26. So if you have kids, well, it might be something that you might need to consider asking questions before you proceed. So in all, I'll say that with all the research I've made in this area in terms of citizenship by investment, Caribbean citizenships don't tax you regardless of where you decide to live. And if you want to renounce, you can do that without any hassle. Now, there's no military service and it's not surprising why most people gravitate towards purchasing citizenships from St. Kitts and Nevis. So as much as citizenship by investment is a great move, if it is something that you're looking at, you should consider holistically everything that comes with it. If this video provided you with some value, can you like and subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.